today I am going to take up a lesson on concept of health and dimension of health. The World Health Organization's definition of health was formulated at the start of WHO's constitution which was adopted on 22nd July 1946. In 1948, the WHO offered the following statement about health. Health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease and infirmity. This definition is widely accepted as physical, mental and social health are all interrelated. Physical health is essential for a living healthy. But when one is not mentally well, the person is likely suffer from diseases like high blood pressure, peptic ulcer and mental diseases. Other than physical and mental health, social health is also equally essential. Several other generally accepted definitions of noun health exist. Florence Nightingale's definition of health states that health is not only to be well but to be able to use well every power we have. Virtus defines health as dynamic state of well-being characterized by a physical mental potential which satisfy the demands of life commensurate with age, culture, and personal responsibility. While Sarachi defines health as a condition of well-being, free of disease or infirmity, and a basic and universal human right. Historically, the word health appeared approximately in the year 1000 AD. The word originally came from all English word health, which meant a state of being sound and was generally used to infer a soundness of the body. More precisely, health was associated not only with the physiological functioning but with a mental and moral soundness and spiritual salvation as well. The oldest concept of health was absence of disease. According to Oxford English Dictionary, health is soundness of body or mind, that condition in which its functions are duly and efficiently discharged. Defining the concept of health is not only a subtle matter, however, the 1984 World Health Organization defines health as the extent to which an individual or a group is able to realize aspirations and satisfy needs and to change or cope with the environment. Health is therefore seen as a resource for everyday life. Not the object of living, it is a positive concept emphasizing social and personal resources as well as physical capabilities. Today, we find in most Western countries a great attention to health matters. A vast majority of these people put health on top of their list, which also contain values such as wealth, to take part in cultural activities, a high social status, and good family relation, and a world in peace. Health is not unexpectedly believed to be such a condition. Moreover, one must remember that it is only during the last century. Because of the development of medicine, 
and health promotion that it has become possible to make radical improvements in the health status of people. Hygienic conditions in the rich countries are now such that one can mostly guarantee a reasonably healthy life to their inhabitants. It has also become possible to cure or prevent some of the most deadly diseases such as smallpox, tuberculosis, thus it is only recently that it has become possible to really hope for a radical improvement of the health state of people in the world. Health is commonly viewed as having seven dimensions, viz. physical, emotional, intellectual, social, spiritual, environmental, and occupational dimensions. Each dimension contributes to our own sense of wellness or quality of life and it affects and overlaps the others. Most of us have a number of physiological and structural characteristics we can call on to aid us in accomplishing the wide array of activities that characterize a typical day and on occasion and not so typical day. Among these physical characteristics are our body weight, visual ability, strength, coordination, level of endurance, level of susceptibility to disease and powers of recuperation. In certain situations, the physical dimension of health may be the most important. The physical dimension recognizes the need for regular physical activities. Physical development encourages learning about diet and nutrition while discouraging the use of tobacco, drugs, and excessive alcohol consumption. Optimal wellness is met through the combination of good exercise and eating habits. The emotional dimension of health encompasses our ability to cope with stress, remain flexible, and compromise to resolve the conflict. For young adults, growth and development often give rise to emotional vulnerability which may lead to feeling of rejection and failure that can reduce productivity and satisfaction. To some extent, we are all affected by feeling states such as anger, happiness, fear, empathy, guilt, love, and hate. The emotional dimension recognizes awareness and acceptance of one's feeling. Emotional wellness includes the degree to which one feels positive and enthusiastic about oneself and life. It includes the capacity to manage one's feelings and related behavior including the realistic assessment of one's limitations, development of autonomy, and ability to cope effectively with stress. Emotional wellness means understanding how we feel accepting our feelings and learning how to express and cope with our emotions. Being emotionally well is typically defined as processing the ability to feel and express human emotions such as happiness, 
sadness, and anger. It means having the ability to love, be loved, and achieving a sense of fulfillment in life. The intellectual dimension recognizes one's creative, stimulating mental activities. A well person expands his or her knowledge and skill while discovering the potential for sharing his or her gift with others. Using intellectual and cultural activities in the classroom and beyond the classroom combined with human resources and learning resources available within the university community and the larger community. A well person cherishes intellectual growth and stimulation. Intellectual wellness is characterized by the ability to make sound decisions and to think critically. It includes openness to new ideas, motivation to master new skills, and a sense of humor, creativity, curiosity, etc. Striving for personal growth and a willingness to seek out and use new information in an effective manner for personal and social development are also part of intellectual wellness. The intellectual dimension encourages creative, stimulating the mental activity and intellectually well person uses the resources available to expand one's knowledge to improve skills. Keeping up to date on current event and participating in activities that arouse the mind are also important. A fourth dimension of health encompasses social skills and insight. Initially, family interaction, school experiences, and peer group interactions foster social skill development. But future social interaction will demand additional skill development and refinement of already existing skill and insight. The social dimension encourages contributing to one's environment and community. It emphasizes the interdependence between other and nature, making contact and reaching out to other can be difficult but very rewarding. Communication and sharing is important to our social life and vital to our sense of well-being. Social wellness refers to our ability to interact successfully in our global community and to live up to the expectations and demand of our personal roles. This means learning good communication skill, developing intimacy with others, creating a support network of friends and family members. Social wellness includes showing respect for others and yourself, contributing to the community and to the world built a sense of belonging. Although certainly it includes religious beliefs and practices, many young adults would expand it to encompass more diverse belief systems, including relationship with other living things, the nature of human behavior, and the need and willingness to serve others. All are important components of spiritual health. For others, however, spiritual growth is believed to occur in the absence of a taste-based belief system, as they are open themselves to new experiences that involve nature, art, body movement, or stewarding of the environment. No matter what religion one practice, the spiritual sense of wellness is the part of that person that develops values. Everyone creates 
their own rules that provide a sense of who they are and why things work the way they do. Spiritual wellness involves possessing a set of guiding beliefs, principles or values that help give direction to one's life. It encompasses a high level of faith, hope, commitment to the individual beliefs that provide a sense of meaning and purpose. People can derive meaning and purpose through nature, art, music, religion, meditation, or good deeds performed for others. Spirituality transcends the individual to create a common bond with humanity. The spiritually well person seeks harmony between what lies within as well as forces outside. Environmental wellness is an awareness of the unstable state of the earth and the effects of the daily habits on the physical environment. It consists of maintaining a way of life that maximizes harmony with the earth and minimizes harm to the environment. It includes being involved in socially responsible activity to protect the environment. Examples of environmental traits include ultraviolet radiation in the sunlight, air, chemical, noise, water pollution, and secondhand smog. Although some environmental concerns are beyond our control, there are things that can be done to promote a healthier art. In today's world, employment and productive effort play an increasingly important role in how we perceive ourselves and how we see the goodness of the world in which we live. In addition, the workplace serves as both a testing ground and a source of life for enhancing skills. In our place of employment, we gain not only the financial resources to meet our demand for both necessity and luxuries, but also an array of useful skills like conflict resolution, experiences in shared responsibility and intellectual growth that can be used to facilitate a wide range of non-employment related interaction. The development of occupational satisfaction and wellness is related to our attitude about work. Achieving optimal occupational wellness allows one to maintain a positive attitude and experience satisfaction or pleasure in our employment. The occupationally well individual contribute his or her unique skill or talent to work that is meaningful and rewarding. Occupational wellness means successfully integrating a commitment to one's occupation into a total lifestyle that is satisfying and rewarding. Health as a well-being is an important aspect of health that the body and mind are well bought in order and function. Health is a commonly viewed as having seven dimensions with physical, emotional, intellectual, social, spiritual, environmental, and occupational dimensions. Each dimension contributes to our own sense of wellness or quality of life. It affects and overlaps the others. At times, 
one may be more prominent than others, but neglect of any one dimension of any length of time has adverse effect and on overall health.